So you wanna do voice con commands using Amazon with your LG Smart TV. It's pretty easy to set up. Let me show you what to do. First things first, get the remote. Make sure that the TV is connected either to Wi-Fi or to uh, a wired connection. Just make sure it's connected to the internet. Turn the TV on. Great, comes right on. Once it's on, what you're gonna do is, you see this little button right here? Click settings. That menu comes up right there. Now, once you're there, you scroll all the way down. All settings. You go down to connection, scroll over. And then what you're gonna do is link to devices for voice control. We're gonna work with Amazon right now, but it also works with Google. So let's work on Amazon right now. It brings this screen up right here. Uh, I already have a LG account, so I'm just gonna log in with my LG account. But you can, if you don't have one, you can use uh, sign in with Amazon, Facebook, Google. Okay, once you uh, log in, it's gonna ask you to name the TV. So let's see, name, I'll just name it Bedroom TV, okay? And it gives you an example right here. Talk to it like this, uh, volume five on bedroom TV, okay? You go to next. Okay, now it's pretty much giving you the instructions on what to do. So what you're gonna do is open your Alexa app, right? Actually, let's, let's just do it. She's always listening. Okay, next step, go to the Alexa app, click these three dots up here, and then you're gonna go down to sure. skills and games. And we're gonna search for LG Basic and Complete. Thank you, Basic and Complete. Uh, according to this screen right here, it's saying use the basic one. So since we're all basic, we'll use basic. Enable to use. It's gonna ask you to link your account. Just link your account. Okay. Once you log in, it says this. Successfully linked, okay? Uh, close this window, does that. This screen pops up asking to discover devices. Discover devices, 45 seconds usually takes a little longer. Okay, so let's try these commands. No hands, watch. Alexa, turn on the bedroom TV. Took a second, but it did it. That's my internet being slow. Okay, next, let's try something else. Once it loads up. Alexa, change the bedroom TV to HDMI one. So a couple things are a little frustrating uh, with how you have to give commands. So if you listen to this now, uh, Alexa, set a 30 minute sleep timer on bedroom TV. Bedroom TV doesn't support that. So it doesn't support it like that, but Alexa, Ask LG to set a 30 minute sleep timer on bedroom TV. Sleep timer is already See, it didn't, it didn't pick it up right. Okay, let's try this one more time. Alexa, ask LG to set a sleep timer after 30 minutes on bedroom TV. Okay. You see that? So it's kind of, it's still a new thing, I guess but it's doing it. Um, let's try something else. Alexa, ask LG to lower the brightness on bedroom TV. Okay. You see that? The it did the volume. <laughs> Alexa, ask LG to increase the brightness on bedroom TV. Okay, one more thing, let's try. 
but you, you can pretty much do whatever. So it does need a little bit of work, uh, but the basics do work on it. For example, the Alexa, turn off the bedroom TV. All right, so you just saw some parts of that were frustrating. Some of the commands, uh, the basics work when you just say, Alexa, do this on bedroom TV, but it gets frustrating when I have to say, Alexa, ask LG to do this on bedroom TV. It gets really long as a command. Hopefully it'll improve. I do remember uh, at the beginning when I was saying it, I had to say, Alexa, ask LG to turn the volume down on bedroom TV or Alexa, ask, ask LG to turn on the bedroom TV. I don't have to say that now. I just say, Alexa, turn on the bedroom TV and she does it. So it's getting better over time. Um, it's, it's useful for basics, like say you're in the kitchen or you're cleaning something and you wanna turn off the bedroom, not the bedroom TV, but the living room TV. It's useful for that. It can only get better from here. So hopefully it gets better. I'm gonna try it with Google next.